to tell you today about some common make and do collocations. So I hear my students have problems with using make and do all the time. And collocations means when it's the words that go together naturally in a language. So in order to sound more fluent, you need to memorize these collocations with make and do. Okay, so let's start with make. Make. So with make, it's usually in the idea of creating or producing or building something. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about make. So for example, when we're talking about food or anything that has to do with food, like make dinner, make a cake, or make a reservation. So practice saying this sentence. I need to make a reservation for our dinner tonight. Okay, and then also when we talk about um, appointments or plans, right? So for example, you would say, I need to make a doctor's appointment. Or let's make plans for the weekend. All right? And then um, some other common ones are um, friends. I know it's kind of funny to think about creating friends or, or producing friends, right? That's not really the idea, but we do build relationships, right? So we make friends. And then um, some other common ones are um, maybe not as easy to understand, but we do say um, to make a promise or make an excuse. So use those ones with make. Okay, so let's move on to um, do. Do is used with actions. So for example, when you're talking about school, um, we do exercises in our books, we do our homework, and we also do research, right? Remember, research is a non-count noun. So you can't say do researches or do a research, right? You can only say just do research. Or you can use it as a verb, but that's another one. Um, also, we um, do a report. So when we're talking about um, an action as far as like creating a report. And then also um, talking about something that has to do with, um, with work, right? So we do work, all right? So that's all for today. Practice those do and make collocations. Bye-bye.